Hi, everybody, and welcome along to another episode of UCAT Conference TV. I'm Colm Cronin from the Adventures in Advising podcast, and today I am delighted to be joined by Dr. Karen Bottom from the University of Birmingham. Karen, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Great to be here. Well, thank you for taking the time to chat to me today. And I suppose to give listeners uh, and our viewers as well an opportunity to get to know you a little bit. Can you talk to us about what it is that you, you do at the University of Birmingham, uh, about you know how you came into work in higher ed, and maybe a bit about your, your work with UCAT as well? Yeah, of course, delighted to. So um, I suppose you could say I took an unusual route into higher education in the sense that I was previously a nurse and I um, slowly worked my way through my A-levels to go to university. And then while at university, I realised that uh, I really enjoyed teaching, working with students and research and decided, like I think so many people, um, incrementally that my career, my future lay in academia. So I then went on to do a PhD and found myself at the University of Birmingham in 2007. And since then, I've worked at the Institute of Local Government Studies, which is a small department that works around areas of public management and public administration. I'm director of education there and also senior tutor and responsible for personal academic tutoring for postgraduates in the school. Very good. Um, I, I love hearing about how people kind of come to, to work in higher ed. And th there are there are so many different routes. Some people come kind of directly in, but a lot of the time it is that that indirect route. And that kind of brings a lot of different perspectives, which is which is always good. And then I suppose, um, you know, in terms of um, the the UCAT conference and uh, that's taking place as, as well we're we're recording this and it will be taking place over the next few days. Of course. But can you talk to me then? I suppose a little bit about the Senior Tutors Network. Absolutely, yeah, we're really excited about it. So I co-convene it with Anne Bingham from Southampton University, and um, when you, it's been set up really to provide a platform for colleagues across different universities to come together um, to share ideas, uh, share practice, but also kind of to give us confidence in what is for, in many institutions a new role, um, to think about how we might move senior tutoring forward, how we can draw on learning, for example, during the pandemic that's you know, had a massive impact on how we tutor and how we provide academic and personal academic tutoring. Um, it's also an opportunity for us really at the moment to think about the different models across the country, how they're developing, and we're hoping to bring a repository to the membership that we can use. And also, you know, membership or no membership, hopefully we'll be able to um, inform institutions across the country uh, on how um, academic tutoring works, but also how it can be kind of managed and overseen and developed, because as well as providing academic tutoring for students. It's also about how we can provide CPD for staff and support staff who are providing the service to our students. Outstanding. I, I love the the approach and certainly with yourself and Anne Bingham, big fan of Anne. She does yeah. tremendous work. So uh, some great people involved. And then if there are people watching this who want to, to kind of get more involved, they're, they're, they're really intrigued by this, how can they best go about doing that? Uh, well, um, they can... First of all, you can go onto the UCAT website. If you look under the special interests groups, you can find both mine and Anne's details there. Um, similarly, you can Google me. I'm at Birmingham University and you can contact me directly through uh, my work email address. I mean, we have, I think, around 25 members now, which is kind of really pleasing because we're a new group. So and I think that pretty much covers an institution almost for every member, which is great. So we've got a really good spread across the country. So everybody's welcome. You don't have to be a senior tutor. You don't have to be organising personal academic tutoring. It's purely for people who work in that area, have aspirations to develop in that area, have got aspirations to lead and innovate in that area. It's really a platform for anybody who's committed to personal academic and academic tutoring. 
Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I definitely encourage any viewers uh, who are interested to reach out, get in touch and, and, and look to, to find out more. And for anyone watching this who uh, wants more information on UCAT in general or the UCAT conference, you can see some of the, the details on screen there, the conference hashtag. You can also find uh, videos and more information, of course, on the UCAT website, but also across uh, UCAT social media channels. So all that really remains, Karen, is to say thank you for chatting to, to me. And I want to wish you continued success in your career and with the Senior Tutors Network. Colin, thanks very much. Pleasure to be here.